Well, what do you think? A full-size knife at a Benchmade bug out weight class. Um, that's amazing. Uh, I'm really impressed with this Kaiser Genie. Uh, it's a front flipper. It's easy to flip, you know? And it's 154 cm steel, all right? And it's the Genie in Micarta. It's got that, what do they call that? Rich light? Redstone. But, you know, if you look at the other printout, then it says red light, a rich light, rich light um, material, which is like a paper Micarta type stuff. That's what this is. Uh, it's really interesting. You got nested liners in here. What are we at the lockup stage here? I'll look around the camera and see. Yeah, 30%. Drop. Not a problem. White blades. Got some white specks on it. Dust, I am assuming. And I haven't had this apart, but it just, it, whoop, finger flickable. Let's get this out of the way. Yeah, bounce off your thumbnail, that blade, but a blade's so light. It's super light, and you can flick it with your middle finger. It's easy to front flip. See this? This is so lightweight, though. And it's like 3.4 inch blade, 7.7 .7 inches overall length. That's right there at a full size. Yeah, 2.25 ounces, 63.8 grams. Is that insane? Whew, where's my balance point? Right there. It feels like nothing. I mean like nothing. Deep carry pocket, clip, flat screws. Oop, I can only go right hand with this. Man, I wonder if that... Hold on, let me get this first, and then I'm going to measure that thickness of that blade. Okay, see, there's three and a half inches, right, at 90 millimeters. Up here, uh, 3.4, you know what I'm saying? And over here, 7.75. Okay, seven and three quarter at 19 and a half centimeters. It's close to like an eight, eight inch overall, you know, length knife. And it's got, well, I mean, what's the cutting length? Cause you'll get some knives that are full size and yet they got a big old choil on the front. So this is three and a quarter inch cutting length. Oh, well, if we're gonna speak about cutting length, let's cut, let's try this. Let's try this. Let's see what we got. Okay, I mean, Factory edge, factory edges. Okay, um, yeah, it's okay. It's a factory edge. It's not scary sharp. I don't know this paper. This is heavier paper. It sounds like con or it sounds like cardboard we're going through or lightweight cardboard. Whoo! But um, yeah, it's it's good. It's good. Oh, I, I was gonna grab this because I was kind of curious. That ain't much blade stock. Well, that's three millimeters. I'm surprised it's that. 0 0.11. Okay. Uh, 0.49 at 12.5 millimeters. It doesn't seem, it seems so much thinner than that. It really does. This is contoured. And I wonder as well, because I don't think I... Yeah, no, 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 they're number, number eights, they're number sixes, okay, that's number eight, and there's only one way to go in, so I'm assuming this ain't gonna move, I imagine it's a D shape, or squared off, or something, those are pretty substantial standoffs, uh, okay, so we're good there, and yeah, I mean, I like the flat screws, and I like the pocket clip shape here, you know, uh, when it comes back up, then it flattens off at this tip. So your, your you know, lip of your pants goes right under there, and it holds it pretty securely, but it's not difficult. 
to slide in your pocket. And I have slid this in my pocket. I've had this for, I don't know, maybe a couple of weeks. And so, yeah, I've been able to carry it some. And it's so light. I mean, like heat index the other day was like 103 or something. I'm going, maybe I got to have me something light, but I wanted something full size. So 2.2 ounces. I mean, it's hard to get a little tiny knife um, that light. How about my feist? Here's my little feist, but this is in titanium. Okay, look at the difference. Talk about staying in the Kaiser line, but look at that. Look at the difference. What do you think the weight difference is? What do you think right now? Okay, now grams, 74.6, 63.8. Yeah, now, if you get the feist in my card, it's going to be a lot lighter. But uh, unit over to uh, ounces. And I just flashed past it. What is going on? See, I've, I've caught that happening before. 2.63, you fatty. 2.26, okay, well, not a whole lot, but difference in size, that's for sure, right? Mm -mm -mm. But we'll talk about that S35VN titanium feist. That's interesting. But, woo, this is so light. And no, there's no backspace or it's open. That's also keeping the weight down. And like, let me... Oh, hold on. Let me throw it around a little bit more. Okay. Um, okay, steel liner, blah, blah, blah. And there's the all that. But I was going to pull this open and show you. Because this is what they're doing. I mean, they're also putting some uh, hardware in here. And that's kind of nice because I have had some instances where I've had a screw drop out. And it was because the screw the threads of the screw weren't right or something was wrong there. And I thought, man, did I, did I strip, you know, the inner part or is the screw just bad? And the screw was just bad. And so to have, I mean, I'm not saying it was on a Kaiser, but I'm just saying I've had it happen before hoping or wishing I had another screw. Also, when you have these extras, you can have them and they may be appropriate for other models. And, you know, it's a metric, so it may fit some other things that you might need help with. So it's always nice to have extra hardware laying around, believe you me. And so let's put you back. But talk about easy to front flip. And if you're a front flip challenge kind of guy, and I'm probably borderline to that. You know, I'm not the most proficient, but I've pretty much caught on. But some are just ridiculous. Some are able to be front flipped and it's like you should have never even gone down that road, you know. But this, no, this is fine. Middle finger flick, the problem is you don't have a fuller that runs down here and you can't kind of back up and, I mean, I might be able to actually. No, no, no. Detent's a little too strong for that. Um, okay. Okay. But it's snappy, isn't it? Uh, detent's strong, okay? Strong enough. Uh, I don't want it to be any stronger because of this. I mean, when you got a front flipper, you don't want it way too strong. Uh, but that's good. And this is adequate, okay? Nice. And, you know, contoured scales. Uh, they're not eating it up too bad with the hardware. It's dark, but it's kind of nice with this red rich light uh, material and the black blade. Even though I'm not a black blade guy, it's kind of the way you got to go with this, don't you think? Because of that rich wine color, you know? So, yeah, I see what they're doing. And, it, and it's fine with me. And whew, they're not that expensive either. Don't I have a piece of paper yeah because i i think oh yeah i got this off the kaiser site and i ah shit what did it say as far as the map i think this is going to be around 70 something dollars uh genius german means genius 
You're a freaking genius. So that's how you can up your IQ. 2.25 ounces, okay? And the same damn shit all over again. You're a genius. And I don't have the price on there, but I think it's around 79 or 75 or something like that. Uh, and if you can catch it on like White Mountain Knives, I do have a discount code for that. So 10%, it might get you to 69, 68, I don't know. But the Genie, Genie, it's been around, hasn't it? This is kind of a sheep's foot, reverse tonto, whatever you want to call it. Flat grind. Nice. Easy to carry. God, it's so light. This damn thing is way crazy light. And ergos are great, easy to disengage, just uh, all kinds of cool. I like it because of how light it is for the size. And the blade shape doesn't hurt my feelings either. Well, let's see if we can crack this one open. Get out of here. Oh, shit, we got number six, too. We're going to have to employ. Oh, 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 wow, that was almost scary. Wait. I want to get the old thread locker out. Uh, but you know what? Better that than cranked and yanked. I'd rather have it come out in my hand like that than have to fight that son of a gun tooth and nail. Um, okay, there we go with a body screw. Don't you? I mean, you go, shit, I can always put thread locker on it. Hell, that's not a problem. My big problem is if they did and they, you know, use some really high power stuff, you'll never get the damn thing apart and it'll drive you crazy. Okay, uh, same length pocket clip screws, so we're good there. And then see, we had to free this up and no, 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 all these are number sixes, aren't they? Okay, so we're taking this one. This was buried underneath the pocket clip. Which begs the question, right? Take this hole away, leave those two, and just make it a deeper carry, right? And you've eliminated a screw and all that shit. So, I don't know. Just a thought. Just a thought. Um, pull this out. Ah, rich, rich light. It is luxurious. And all in a Vanguard model. And there's your liner. Um, and you know, this isn't coated, and so this makes it drop really nice. And you got ceramic detent ball. What else can we throw against you? Oh, there's our stop. It fell out. And we've got ceramic bearings. Uh, and it's clean inside. And what do we got? It looks flat. Does it not? It looks flat right there. So yeah, that's why they didn't give you a, an opening in the front because you didn't need to because right here, this is flat and off too and it's not going to, um, and then I've got to turn this around. So where is it? the flat spot? Right there, comes right through. Okay, we're good. Just think. Put this in here, this, and you got a little stop, but you got it all reinforced here with this little steel liner. But obviously, I think you can understand this is not a heavy use knife, right? I mean, this is, it's 2.25 ounces, and no, this is not for batoning through an oak tree. Okay, or you can, but you might need another knife after you get done. Um, and I'd, I want the video, though. I'd love to see you just destroy the damn thing. It'd be funny as hell. But it'd be funny as hell to see you be surprised that you destroyed it. And, like, you didn't figure that was going to happen. <laughs> okay, come on. Sit down on this thing. Uh, get on here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, what are you doing to me? Okay. Okay, finally. Got you to set down on there. Okay, good, good, good. And did you pop back off? No, okay. Now. And snap your ass down on here. And get you back in the groove. Ooh. Are we okay? 
What did we hit? I don't know. We hit a ghost. Because it's fine now. Um, you know what they say? Cross threads better than no threads. That's a joke. Okay, now. Get in here. Set the two Humpty Dumpty brothers down. Oh, crap. First, we got to put Humpty in that area. Because uh, otherwise, we ain't going to get him in there. That was kind of a funny feel going in there, but I guess that's the way she goes. Um, kick this little baby in here, and then this guy was jacking out on me, so we're going to have to put him in as well. Can we set you down? And yes, we can. And let's tighten this one the rest of the way down. And let's make sure that body screw is set. And I probably got... Yeah, it's... it's <sighs> Let me see that I didn't crank down too hard on that pivot. Well, it's dropping nice, isn't it? Yeah. And it's centered. We're good. Yes. Yes, indeed, the genie. Um, yeah, it's, you know, it's an old Kaiser favorite. I don't, you know, it's like that and like what else? The Feist. I mean, there's just so many that they've had. And of course, the Critical has gone many as well. So they're bringing back some of these, but you know, and th when they first came out, they were titanium and they were bigger and they were this and that, but now they've rethought them and uh, a lot of people really liked them. They were just kind of waiting for the next generation and here they come. So it's happening a lot with the bag lighter, et cetera, et cetera, right? I'll leave you alone you know what we do. We love them knives. So you guys stay sharp.